In the previous video, we talked about the 10 best trading lessons, the basics of candlesticks, and how to use support and resistance in trading. So we're going to keep on studying this 180 pages trading manual together. In this video, we're going to talk about risk management, probably the most important thing in trading. So how to not lose your money. The author, a very famous trader, and Pearl BTC, says that 90% of traders lose money, so let's learn how to be that top 10%. If we don't manage risk mathematically, we will lose all the money, for sure. So in this video, we're going to try to understand optimum position sizing, the 5% rule. Never risk more than 3 to 5% of your portfolio on a single trade. 3% is what the author prefer, 5% is an aggressive approach. This might sound bizarre, a waste of time, but let's understand it further. Trading with only 5% of your capital doesn't mean that your trade position size is only 5% of your total capital. What it means is that you are just risking 5% of your equity in a single trade. So whatever happens, you will not lose more than 5% of your equity on a single trade. Trade size will be determined by the leverage on that 5% equity. So this 5% rules apply for leverage trading. So for example, let's say your total equity is $100,000 and you're risking 5% of your capital, which is $5,000. And let's assume that you do the leverage of 20. So if you use leverage of 20, your trade size will be $100,000. And if you use leverage of 10, your trade size is $50,000. So leverage usage is a function dependent on the stop loss determined based on the technical analysis. And the author uses only technical analysis to determine the stop loss. And the leverage multiple shall be determined by the stop loss. And we will learn the application of leverage in the stop loss chapter instead of this risk management chapter. But really, why risk so little capital? Why only 5%? For math, even if you have a very high winning rate, like 70%, there will be a time when you do six consecutive losing trades. High equity risk trades are historically proven to deplete all capital as explained below. As you can see in this chart, it shows the consecutive losses that a trade will definitely face over a period of time with the given hit rate. So now imagine someone with a hit rate of 70% risk and that trader risked like 40% of his capital in each of those six losing trades. Wreck, like no money left period. You lost all your money. It might come as a surprise that the most successful and long-term traders have a strike rate of around 40%, not even close to 70%. The best traders that the author knows, and even the author himself, they don't have that high winning rate. Then how does such low strike rate lead to profit in the long run? So if our winning rate is 40%, we'll definitely face a time when we lose 14 trades in a row. As you can see it in this chart, the profitability is gained from obtaining a good risk to reward ratio over a period of time. And the stop loss placements as well as the use of leverage will be explained in the next chapters. So conclusion of this chapter, risk management 101. Don't risk more than 3 to 5% equity on a single trade. Position size matter, not leverage. Your position size can be as big as needed while risking only 5% of your equity. Leverage needs to be determined keeping the stop loss in mind. Don't risk more than 5% on trade. This concludes part 1 of risk management. And that's optimum position sizing. It might be really boring, but it's the most important part of trading, obviously. And in the previous video, I also explained another way of managing risk. You know, like when you decide how much to invest, obviously you can't invest everything that you have. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And there's another trader that I love. He's Korean and people call him Melnam which means that the man who makes $100,000 every month. And he literally does that, like he makes $100,000 every month. 
and he just shows it on live streaming and he has this 10x challenge risk management strategy so for example we first invest ten thousand dollars then we trade and trade and trade until we 10x that money and turn it into one hundred thousand dollars then after you make that one hundred thousand dollars you take ninety thousand dollars out of that account and maybe put it into DeFi account or something else you know save that money or maybe invest in real estate then we start trading again with that ten thousand dollars and when we turn it into one hundred thousand dollars again we take out the ninety thousand dollars and save it into a DeFi account or somewhere else so that's the cycle that we want and of course since we are the beginner we don't want to risk ten thousand dollars for our first shot because we might end up being liquidated several times at the beginning so it's important to have several bullets in our pocket so if you have ten thousand dollars that you can invest start with one thousand dollars then make it into ten thousand dollars and take out nine thousand dollars then start trading again with that $1,000 and so on. In that way, along the way, if you get liquidated several times, you're okay because you have more bullets in your hand. So how much to invest? Consider dividing your entire budget into several pieces of bullets before you put all of your eggs in one basket. So that's all for the risk management part one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in risk management part two.